Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how you can connect your smartphone to your laptop using just Zender. So what I'm going to do is, if you don't have Zender, go to Play Store and you can download Zender. If you already have Zender, the process is uh, easy, you can start from here. So this is the app we call Zender, the one you see here. So I'm going to click on the Zender, click on Zender for step one. Wait for the app to open first. You can see on the top right corner here, you see a uh, three uh, horizontal lines. So what you need to do is to so click on those three horizontal lines, click on them. When you click on them, uh, the first option is connect PC, so you can connect PC. Now here, if you don't have your hotspot on, you will be asked to connect uh, your hotspot or put your hotspot on by going to setting and then going to network or internet and then hotspot, depending on which type of phone you have as well. But for mine, I can connect my hotspot. My hotspot is already on. So I'm going to step two, which is to connect to the PC. Now, how do you do this? Now, here, I'm going to connect to my PC. Go to your, uh, your computer network. You may see it uh, a notification error. Uh, you have uh, your network. Network. Click on network. And then uh, here, look for the network you want to connect to. Here is so I'm going to connect it. Now make sure you enter your password. You should know your password very well for your internet connection. Okay, so make sure you connect. As you can see, the connection is going on here. So you got to wait until it connects. I'm trying to connect my phone to the laptop. It may take a while, so be very patient enough. All right, so it's already connected. Now, what you need to do here is ensure that you have a browser that you can go to. So, open your browser. Yes, my browser. Now, look on the screen again where you have the sender. You will see uh, some codes at the bottom. Okay, you can see the codes at the bottom here. Down here. This is what I'm talking about. These are the codes you're going to enter in your browser. So I'm going to read it out. Your code may be different. So just follow the process. 192, 192, uh, dot 168, 168, dot 43, dot 43. And you can press dot 232, column 33, 455. And you press the enter key. So when you press the enter key and you see this uh, string, what comes to your mind is that, or what you should take into consideration is that probably your phone is not connected uh, to the internet. So you have to be sure that you have connected to the internet, especially your phone's network. Okay, so in this case, it's already connected to the phone network. So refresh it. Okay. Here, press the enter key. This gives you the same error. Can refresh. All right. So ensure that you are putting the code in. Uh, first of all, click enter. Press the enter key. Now look on the screen. You can clearly see that we have accept and we have decline. This is what's going to appear on your test screen or your Android. So click on accept. If you click on accept, you should see okay. So you should be able to log in. Now you see the details here. Now on this screen, this is your entire this is your entire uh, information on your phone. So everything is here. I want to bring it a little closer. Now you can toggle in between. You can come to the pictures or you can come to the videos or you can come to music documents as well so i'm going to do two things i'm going to upload to the phone that is i'm going to pick up a document from my laptop and send it to the phone so let me do it first i'm going to pick up um remember here i want to upload i want to upload documents so i'm going to click on upload document on the top right corner look for the document upload calculation for trade officer or professional topics so you open it's going to go to open 
and it's already in the phone now as you can see it's already been sent now next one i'm going to do is i'm going to send a document from my phone to the laptop so i'm going to download it uh, i'm going to download a document from my phone this is already on my phone i'm going to click on it click on image you select you can move on here or you can click on top right beside the upload button click on batch download it's going to download it and you can check in your download option again so another thing i wanted to show you is i can remain on my phone and i can control activities i see on the laptop so just take a look at the laptop I'm on my phone i can click on the picture and you see it's going to display as i'm moving on it's going to be showing up so there are many things you can do with it all you need to do is to be sure that you connect them correctly so thank you very much if you enjoyed the video feel very free to subscribe thank you